and we're going to go to Ed very quickly uh, for his playlist vinyl and album, which I think well, is the same thing. It's saving okay. time as ever. Uh, <laughs> I, as I said, at some point, album and vinyl will differentiate, but um, this week they are one and the same. Um, in light of how this week is going, it's the perfectly titled new album from White Lies, As I Try Not to Fall Apart. This is their sixth studio album. Now, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the White Lies. I love them, but I'm not blind to their failings. This album doesn't really make any significant change to those. It's still lyrically weird. Um, they're not great lyricists. They do better music than they do words. Uh, it still has one song that doesn't belong in the album at all. It just sits there in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's what they all have. Um, and the reason it is both my album uh, and vinyl release of the month, and I put my money where my mouth is, there it is, is because it's not a recording for the ages. Sometimes I go on about how beautiful the album of the month actually is. Uh, this this isn't. I, whoever masters these albums, they're, they're aware of the concept of dynamic range, but they don't have much interest in the concept. But it's a great album. Um, there's just... They, they've aged, uh, they cover different things with their bizarre lyrics, um, and it's just a bloody good listen, fundamentally. Um, as all White Lies albums have been for me, it's it's bleak without being depressingly bleak. Um, and I would say, I mean, they've got a, a tour coming up. They are fabulous live. They really are a great band to see live if you've got the opportunity to do so. Uh, so that is both album and vinyl. It's on all major streaming services. You don't need to spend any of your own money. Um, but uh, it is available in uh, uh, CD, uh, vinyl and cassette if you're having a particularly retro feeling. Um, so those are all all, all good to go. Um, playlist of the month um earlier i think it was monday night um mark lanigan uh, one of my favorite artists died at the age of 57 uh which was uh, uh, mark lanigan lived an interesting life uh, i didn't necessarily expect that he would make it to be a cent uh, make it to be 100 but nevertheless this is still a hell of a sad thing um Tidal has assembled a playlist which gets most of the way to covering just how many different things. I mean, Mark Lanigan always sounded like Mark Lanigan. He had a voice that basically sounded like he ate sandpaper. But the different things that the man did, the different styles, the different people he collaborated with, just give that playlist a moment of your time. If you're not necessarily familiar with uh, the work that he's done up until this point just gets stuck into that and uh, in, enjoy every minute of it. We have lost a truly iconic voice, a truly iconic talent. And that playlist is the one for me that stands out as being worth your time this month. If, of course, you uh, do not use Tidal, I can, I mean, no, no one asks on a routine basis, but I can drop the URL into the comments thread and you can then use uh, different apps to port it across. Alternatively, just get stuck into the vast back catalogue of stuff that Mark Lanigan did and enjoy every gravelly minute of it. 